What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 9 of my Game Maker Studios tutorials on game development, and last time we did uh, health related for the player and like med kit pickup and everything, and yeah, and like a little thing on the screen for the GUI showing the player's health. This time I wanted to work on weapons, so having it so it switches between weapons, so like instead of just the normal little shot by the pistol kind of looking thing it's just like you can switch you can have different weapons different stuff so I already made three different sprites I kinda like it's like a little pistol is one of them there's a shotgun as you can see kinda I don't know I didn't really put color into it cuz I don't know I just made like a little frame kinda thing and just made it gray then an assault rifle so there's three types of guns eventually I could add more like I don't know, a sniper sort of thing, what else, any maybe futuristic laser stuff, who knows, anything, and you guys could do it too if you want to, like, it wouldn't be hard to add your own guns after seeing how you make this, so what we're going to do, so I have the three sprites now, so that's good, so what we're going to do is, I'm debating if I want to do GUI showing the gun right now, or wait on that, maybe I can have, so, well, let's see, okay, so, We'll make, let's see, so where should we start this off with? OBJ player, maybe. Okay, so create, and we'll do a variable. Weapon equals, okay, so each var each weapon's going to have a different number variable. So we'll do weapon equals to zero. So zero will represent the pistol, one will be the shotgun, two will be the assault rifle. So the player's weapon is zero, and let's see, okay, so... Hmm, what do I want to do? So we'll make it so... Create object... Okay, so damage is related to the weapon. Okay. Ammo, we're not going to mess with different types of ammo depending on the gun. I don't want to go into too much detail with that right now because that'll be a lot to do. So, okay, so damage. So damage will be one. The pistol will just do one damage. And we'll have it stick with that kind of. And then... Okay, so one damage by the pistol, and then what we'll do is we'll make each weapon right now. So what we're going to do is create object obj underscore pistol. Okay, so set the sprite to the pistol, and then that's fine. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do, delete this just to make this easier so I don't have to code all of it again. Duplicate one of these objects because it's kind of almost the same idea just different sprite and different effect okay so collision with the player and the player pressing e one it'll have to destroy it but it'll do obj player dot weapon equal to zero and obj player dot dmg equals to one so that's what the player starts at naturally so even if i was so if i was to pick up the pistol anyways it would do that and then okay so picking up the pistol will do that It'll destroy the pistol. Okay, so let's see. So that should work fine. And then we'll make it... Ooh, that's a tough one. Okay, so duplicate this. OBJ, OBJ underscore shotgun. And then go like that. So now the weapon will be two, and the damage for the shotgun, probably a higher damage damage maybe no okay yeah it'll be a little bit higher so we'll do three for the damage okay and then third thing we're gonna do is the assault rifle obj assault rifle oh assault rifle there we go change the sprite oops wrong one. Oh yeah no i did okay weapon will be three and the damage will probably be i don't know I'm not really good with this. We'll we'll just do two because it's kind of at a faster rate. Actually, another thing we should probably change too is go into this and create a variable fire rate. And for the normal fire rate, it'll be... Do I have something controlling that right now? Let's see. Global left pressed. Right now, it's just clicking it. So, okay, so we'll probably do a fire rate. So the fire rate will be, for the pistol by default, it'll be maybe five? I don't... 
I don't know. Actually, a pistol can shoot fast, so we'll just do two. Okay, so this is where we got to change this. So now, uh, obj player dot fire rate equals to two. Yeah, because fire rate's going to be important for this. This one, obj player dot fire rate is equal to. This one will be a lot slower. So we'll probably do like the fire rate as 20. The pistol's just going to shoot really fast, which means you can just click rapidly and it'll shoot. And then. Okay, so that one's slow. That The rate of that will probably... It's going to be the same rate that the enemy hurts you at. So it'll be kind of slower. And then the assault rifle... Comes out of those two. Assault rifle will be... Let's see. OBJ player... Uh, yeah, player dot fire rate equals two. This one will probably be like eight. Let's go with something like that. So it's not crazy fast but it's definitely a faster shooting gun um... i don't know i might tweak that stuff it, depending on it because who knows um... okay so now it'll switch the gun and depending on the weapon and everything so here's where we'll do okay so the weapon so depending on the weapon so we're gonna need actually no that works fine uh... where's the... is there a bullet object? yeah the bullets right here so the way it'll work, so this is where we need to get, like, creative with this. And there might be, I might eventually change it, who knows. So, instance create bullet. Okay, so this is what we're going to do for this. We'll do another if, if statements in here. If weapon equals zero. Whoops. If weapon equals zero. What it'll do is it will, oh wait, I didn't even put the zero. If weapon is equal to zero, and it's clicked, and there's... Yeah, okay, so it'll do ammo minus one, and it'll just create a normal bullet, which, that's fine. Okay, so... What's next? Okay, so then we'll do the next one. If weapon equals one... Oops, go back to that. Um, okay, so this is where it might be interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna have to create a separate thing like the shotgun will make it shoot like three little dots let me see if there's a better way than what I'm thinking of right now instance create ooh I don't know we might have to do like separate objects like a separate bullet type for that let's think Okay, well, actually, for now, what we can do is if weapon is equal to 2, instance, create, x, y, obj, bullet, and then, yeah, okay, so, if ammo, and we'll actually do, we're going to have to set up another timer thing here, so we'll do fire rate, and then, fire, actually, can fire is equal to true, whoops, can fire is equal to true, and then we'll do fire, or shot count, or something like that, I don't know, so that'll be like the, the counting variable for this, so it'll be almost like the timer, except there's, yeah, so it's the three variables here instead of, yeah, okay, so let's go into here, actually the step event, yeah, that's where we'll need it, so we'll almost, we could copy paste this if anything, and just put an exact same one, except we'll do can fire, and then we'll do shot count. Yeah, just kind of, see, like I said, it's the same exact thing for it. So, or can fire, whoops. And then, what is that? What's the, uh, oh, it's fire rate is what it is. And this is going to be shot count. Okay, so this is the fire rate right here. So yeah, so that should work fine then. So now it'll like, depending on the fire rate, it'll reset faster or slower. And so we'll do if ammo is less or greater than zero and um, can fire is equal to true. So the other thing it'll do here then is it'll do can fire equals false. 
for both of them it needs to do that and then in fire equal to false ammo is equal or minus equals one whoops okay okay so there we go I don't know the shotgun might be a little complicated but we'll try out just the first two the assault rifle and the pistol switching between it save changes yes okay so here we go we'll go in the room room test objects let's put a pistol right here put the shotgun out except we won't pick that up just because it probably is not going to do anything yet okay so here we go so get that and I'll probably make a GUI thing saying which weapon you're currently holding so you know okay so right now we have the pistol and then reload let's switch guns up oh, that doesn't work okay so time to troubleshoot some stuff let's see where did we go wrong with this assault rifle it changes the weapon oh it's weapon three it's two it's supposed to be whoops does this one say one then no that needs to be one and make sure this one's zero yeah okay and then we're good okay so that's what was wrong whoops figure that out that's good okay so we have the pistol reload so this one shoots a little bit slower okay what I'm thinking is because it's an assault rifle it should probably shoot faster so we're gonna switch this up the pistol will be fire rate of eight okay and then the assault rifle will be a fire rate of two maybe yeah that should be fine yeah that sounds like it did work a lot better and we'll also have to switch this then fire rate will be eight yeah whoops get rid of that second semicolon okay so fire rate is eight so now if you switch it it should I think what I could do is I don't know depending on the weapon I could almost have, eventually I'll do it maybe make it so you can like auto fire instead of just single shot firing but I guess you can, can click to rapid fire so so yeah you shoot a little bit slower here like that and then with this one what it's still slow oh it only did oh that's why so yeah so this one you could shoot a lot quicker compared to going to this one where it's like a little bit slower yeah but that's fine okay so now to do the shotgun this is the complicated one here because it has a different bullet type maybe I can just create a different kind of bullet we'll try something here we'll duplicate this obj underscore shotgun or we'll, we'll do bullet underscore shotgun so it's more custom so when it creates it, speed, okay, so, okay, direction, now let's see, so we'll have, okay, so this is where we're going to get interesting, okay, so we'll do create, and then this is where instance underscore create obj underscore bullet, and then, oh wait, how do you, let me make sure, is it x and y first, oh it is, okay, so, Hmm. I don't know. What I want to try to do here is make it so it shoots in two other two other bullets in different directions almost. But I feel like that might not work out. Maybe we can do Okay, so here here's probably a smarter idea to do this. Bullet shotgun. And then we'll do left bullet shot or bullet shotgun left and then okay so this will be create event direction is equal to image angle plus five so we'll try a different little bit of a different angle duplicate this obj bullet underscore shotgun right so this one will be minus five okay so we'll try this so this is like okay that that works fine so the shotgun, so now when it's the shotgun, it'll change it though. Ammo, or no, player, back into the player. And global left pressed. 
if, and then we'll do weapon equals 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 one. Yeah, some of this stuff is kind of like stuff I need to take the time to figure out myself sometimes. Instance create, and then we'll do x, y, obj, bullet. So that'll be the first bullet, the center bullet, technically. And then we'll do the same thing for um, x, y, and then obj, bullet, underscore, and then we'll do shotgun left and right. So we can just copy-paste this one. Doesn't matter. Right. There we go. And then it'll do can fire equals false and ammo minus equals one. Yeah, okay, so this might work. We'll try this out, see what happens. I don't know. There's always probably another way I could do this if I really wanted to. So let's try the shotgun then. Oh, that works. Okay, except it looks like the left and right shotgun bullet don't do anything. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. Do they Can they get affected by the wall? Yeah, what about players or enemies, though? That's weird, they don't get hit. Okay, so... Oh, because... Yeah, I just thought about that. Wait, wrong thing. Enemy, go into the enemy... Now duplicate this event, but make it collision for the shotgun left. Duplicate event, collision, shotgun right. Okay, so each of these do a different damage, I believe, right? No, oh yeah, player damage. Okay, so the damage is different depending on the gun. And, okay, so what we're going to do here then is we'll make it minus player da Oh wait, it might actually already work. Never mind, it probably already works for different damages. So we're probably good. Okay, so play. Shotgun. Yeah, now it takes... See that? It only takes like two hits from it, and it takes them all out. That works good. And then the assault rifle probably works. Ammo and gun. Can I re... Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So yeah, so now we have a couple different guns. Eventually... And like I said, you guys can add your own guns if you really want to. All you have to do is just make a little sprite for it, do the exact same thing that I just did for all of these, except different guns might be different. You could create a custom bullet if you want to. I don't know. There might be other kinds of guns. I don't know. Like a sniper, you would just probably just increase the damage and all that. Who knows? There's other things like tech guns if you want to go all crazy with it, make it do like weird stuff. Who knows? If you guys want to see any of that, go ahead and comment that. This is probably where I'll be ending the video, though. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed to us already, you guys should. I will probably keep doing this, obviously, for a while now. I don't know. If there's anything you guys want to see, make sure to comment it, like any things in future tutorials of this game, or of Game Maker and all that. And, um, yeah, so other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Episode 8.